now we're going to be finding the slope of the equation 3x squared where x equals negative 3. So we're graduating from a linear equation to a quadratic equation. We're going to do this algebraically and we're going to use our slope function. Before we do that, we'll just have a little look at what that means graphically. I'm going to be taking the slope of 3x squared. I'm going to be taking the point where x is approximately negative 3. And I'm going to look at the slope just to get an idea if I'm right or not. I can see in the limit as p2 gets closer and closer to p1, looks like that slope is going to be around 18. So graphically, that's what's going to be happening. So first of all, what does our expression look like when we look at f at x plus h? That just means that everywhere I see an x, I'm going to be putting in an x plus h. So f at x plus h now is actually going to be 3 times x plus h squared. Now, I want to evaluate this expression when x is equal to negative 3. So everywhere I see an x plus h, it should actually be negative 3 plus h. So I just have to make that substitution. So there's what I'm dealing with when x is equal to negative 3. Now I'm ready to deal with some of the algebra surrounding that. So f at negative 3 plus h is 3 times the quantity negative 3 plus h squared. So I'm going to end up expanding and simplifying that part of the equation. So 3 times negative 3 plus h squared, when I expand that, is 3 times the binomial negative 3 plus h multiplied by itself. I, I want to be careful here when I'm expanding this binomial. And so there's what I'm trying to solve there. And so this binomial expanded looks like this. So be sure that you know how to do that. Okay? Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Negative 3 times h is negative 3h. h times negative 3 is also negative 3h. And when I gather those two terms together, I end up with negative 6h. And h times h course is h squared. Now when I expand that bracket, I end up with 27, which is 3 times 9, minus 18h, which is 3 times negative 6h, plus 3h squared, which is 3 times h squared. So now I'm ready to start dealing with my slope function, which is that expression. And just to review, the function is 3 times x squared. It's fairly trivial to calculate f at negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. And 3 times 9 is 27. We've already calculated f at negative 3 plus h and simplified the expression. And it's 27 minus 18h plus 3h squared. So now I'm ready to do some substitution into this expression. And it's going to look exactly like this. I can do some further simplification because I know that because I know that 27 take away 27 is 0, and so I can get rid of those. I can also factor an h out of both of these expressions like that. And once I get to this stage, it's a question of just removing or dividing the h's out of the expression. Here we go. These are going to cancel out, just like that. And now I'm left with this relatively easy situation to deal with. I know that when h gets really close to 0, I'm going to have something that looks close to the slope. Now, h, technically, I can't make equal to 0 because previous forms of this equation have been dividing by h. However, I can look at what it looks like when I take the limit. In other words, when I make h incredibly equal or incredibly close to 0. And really what this expression becomes in that case is negative 18. 
or negative 18 plus something very close to zero. So now I know that my slope is actually equal to negative 18, which was exactly what I found out graphically. Like that. And that's the algebraic solution to that problem.